Hey everyone, this is an introduction to hybrid teaching. Specifically, we're going to cover the technology tools that will be available to you when we get back into the classroom. Everyone will have access to a webcam, which we'll go over in this video. Uh, teachers will have access to a second monitor as well, and all this will integrate with your smart board. If you would like to use one, we will also have document cameras available for the classroom as well. So this is one of our webcams. It has the speaker, the camera, speaker on the other side as well. Uh, it is adjustable, so it can be tilted. Uh, it can be placed on a smart board or a computer. It has a mount as well, so it can be placed on a tripod. Teachers will be allowed to place these wherever they like in the room. The tech team can help facilitate setting those up. Uh, another version of a webcam we have, this one is a little more adjustable in that this one swivels. Uh, it can be placed, again, on a laptop, um, smart board, what have you, camera, microphone, and all of them are USB, which means they're plug and play. You just plug in your computer and it is ready to go. And again, teachers will be able to place these in the room wherever they would like. Your traditional view from your integrated camera that came with your computer, so it's the one that's up top right up there. It's really easy to change microphones and cameras for your webcam, so once they're plugged in, just go to the microphone, you can utilize the, it should be in the drop-down list, so there's my webcam right there. Um, so you're teaching, you're talking to your Zoom kids, whatever else, you're checking in, how's your day going, whatever. Your lesson begins, you click on the camera, you change it to your webcam, and now you have your webcam view. The webcam view is based off of wherever you place it in the classroom, and so you can teach your lesson, you can walk around, um, you can angle it so you're pointing at the smart board if you'd like. You can share your screen, which we'll talk about how to do that later. But so the webcam, you know, um, it's basically set on that view. Really simple to change views. Once again, up arrow. Maybe you have a student who you can see has a question or concern. You talk to them on Zoom real quick while the students behind you are working an assignment. Um, answer that question. Then you go back to your webcam view. Once again, very easily just toggle. Go back to teaching. You're walking around the room. You're working with your kids. And then, you know, question comes up again on Zoom or what have you. Come back over to computer and really easily just toggle back and forth and it is that easy to go back and forth. And I hope you guys enjoy using the webcam in your classroom. So this is a sample setup of what a classroom could look like. This is a webcam placed on a tripod. Teachers will be able to place webcams wherever they want in the room, uh, depending upon the view. They can also double as a document camera. Teachers will also have access to a second monitor that they can use. It's a great way to keep your students engaged on Zoom so you can keep them up the whole time while you're teaching your lesson. So this is a demonstration that I set up in a classroom at Drew. On the left, you can see what the student view would look like. Uh, on the right is the view that's coming from my computer. That's the integrated camera right there. And I'm going to toggle through. So I'm using the up arrow to go to the webcam. And the webcam is set up so you can see the classroom view. So that's the classroom looks like. I'm going to point to it and walk around. So this is what it would look like to your Zoom students as you were teaching to your classroom via the webcam. Okay, so here I'm running a lesson off of the computer and sharing the screen via Zoom. And so once I get into present mode then and can share, share the screen, I can run the lesson from the smart board. The smart board still works. As you can see, I'm presenting both screens. You can see that on Zoom. The touch capabilities still work. You can touch through your presentation. You can actually get out and go to a Nearpod lesson also. So you're teaching your students on Zoom still see what's happening. Uh, you can, again, you can click on different lessons. This is a Nearpod loading. So once the Nearpod loads, then students will be able to see it. Um, so you can exit your presentation. You can go through your Nearpod slides and do whatever you need to do. And then you can get back into your presentation uh, as it was before. So this is actually a student workstation that I set up. This is what your students would see while you're teaching. So this is from the traditional Zoom integrated camera. You can see students, it works just as it normally would. Students get their normal view. When you toggle the screens, this is going to be the webcam view. So the webcam view, you can walk around, talk to your students, teach your lesson as you normally would. Your students get the view of what's happening, you know, and they can still feel like they're a part of the lesson, whether they're on hybrid or it's just their day to not be in class. 
And this is what they see when you share your screen. So this is what happened when I was working off of the smart board. While I'm on the smart board, students can see everything happening on the smart board, including the presentation, various YouTube videos, the screencastifies, uh, even the Nearpod situation still works. So everything still works from the smart board and the student view. So this is what a sample lesson could look like at Drew Charter School. Okay. All right. Let's All right. So we've got. You want to wave, Miss Thrash? I've got my student on the camera. I've got my setup. I've got my smart board, and I've got my lesson. Okay. As you can see, the second monitor's up and running with the students on Zoom at home. Um, it's good to check in with them at the beginning of the class with everybody else to make sure they feel like they're part of the classroom environment. Direct instruction is a great way to get started as well, so this way everybody's on the same page and everybody is receiving the same content at the same time so that everybody knows the lesson that day and everybody knows the content. It's good to check in with your students on Zoom also to make sure they know what's happening in class and to make sure that everybody understands the day's lesson. You notice my Zoom student will be working on the same assignment as my classroom students uh, during the student work period. During this time, the students in the classroom work independently on an assignment while your Zoom students work on the same assignment. And it'd be important to circle back and check in with your Zoom students to see if they have any questions about the day's lesson to make sure they understand everything and just make the connections about the daily assignment. You'll notice here that I'm plugging in the document camera. USB management is going to be an issue. It's going to be important to understand how many ports you have available on your computer. This will help determine what devices you use and how you use them in your classroom. The document camera integrates with the smart board, obviously, and it integrates with Zoom as well. So what this means is that while the work is being projected onto the board, it's also visible to our students via Zoom so the students can see what you're actually writing or what manipulatives you're using at a table. This is a shortened version of the student view of the lesson. So this is what the check-in looks like in the beginning of the lesson. This is the actual lesson itself projected on the smart board. As you can see, the student is able to view everything that's happening and the touch screen still works on the smart board. So as I'm touching the actual board, it's advancing the PowerPoint presentation for the student on the Zoom. And transitioning to the student work period is a great time to touch base with your students at home to make sure they understand the assignment, see if they have any questions or concerns about anything that's covered in the day's lessons, or just handle general questions about things happening in the class at that point in time. So document cameras will be available for the teachers who'd like to use them, but please keep in mind that webcams can also double as document cameras as well. This is going to be an important thing to think about when we get into USB port management and determining what devices you would like to use versus which devices you're going to need to use on a daily basis. For example, your smart board plugs in your computer via the HDMI, but it also uses a USB port if you want to use the touch feature. However, if you're using the document camera, then you're not going to be using the touch feature at that time, so you may not actually want to plug in the USB to the smart board. You just need to think about what you'd like to use in your classroom and the device management, what's the easiest and most efficient way for you to set up your room. And we will actually do that together as a team before you see students. So teachers will sit down with the tech team and myself and we'll figure out the best way to lay out your room for what you would like to do in the classroom and figure out how we can help you organize the room to make sure it's set up the way that you want it so that you are successful in teaching the way that you want to teach your students. Webcams will be available for checkout after Thanksgiving break. We're hoping teachers will check those out so they get used to using them before they have students. Document cameras will be available to those who like to use them. The tech team and I will help teachers set up their rooms the week before you receive students. And that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out and let me know.